Alright guys, so welcome to my preparation guide for Cataclysm Classic. I think my first tip guys, honestly, is just don't worry about prepping that much unless you're in one of the top 1% of competitive raiding guilds. It ultimately doesn't matter that much. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. And that's my first tip, is chill out. Farming stuff like ICC 25 man heroic gear is pretty pointless. That gear will be replaced by the time you're doing level 82 quests. Even Shadowmorn will be replaced. I think the main thing people care about is being able to clear the raid on week 1. It's only going to take you 2-3 to three days to get to max level, even leveling casually. So you don't need to try hard an ultra sweaty method to get to level 85 in a single session. I don't think people fully realise just how good remote PC software has revolutionised in the past few years. Why am I mentioning this? Well, imagine if you could level your WoW characters and farm gold while sitting at a bus stop or waiting for the girlfriend that you don't have to put her makeup on. Well, these days you can so easily with the app Awesome Remote. It very easily connects to your PC. You can turn your PC on remotely also with your phone with the smart plug they provide. And then you can use the specially made World of Warcraft keyboard to control your character. I've been doing this while I've been on a holiday, literally sat on a sun lounger, fishing up lock boxes on my hardcore character for gold. As you can see, it's very easy to get the World of Warcraft keyboard set up and it's totally customizable. I was able to easily control my character and press all of my keybinds while leveling up my hardcore character. There's a free trial where you can fully test the app's features and if you end up liking the app, you can get the game version. It works both on Android and iOS and you can find all the information in the description down below about getting that free 7 day trial. One thing you can progress right now, and it is definitely worth it, is your back pocket. Farming gold is the most useful thing you can do currently in the game. But what's smarter than farming gold, because you know, who wants to work in your free time? Setting yourself up to farm passive gold is the much smarter approach. So imagine log into the game 10 minutes before you raid, you do some quick flips on the auction house and you make a few hundred gold to easily afford all of your raiding consumes, gems and enchants without ever having to farm. The way you do this is obviously with professions, so you want to level them up on as many characters as you can immediately. The big gold makers in Kata are going to be alchemy, jewel crafting, enchanting and tailoring. The principle of gold flipping is pretty simple. People are too lazy to ask someone with a profession to craft something for them and rather to buy for the auction house, usually for more gold than it costs to craft. You can use the add-on auctionator to quickly scan the auction house and then it will tell you in your profession menu what you can craft easily for a profit. Put two to three of these on the auction house and then they can flip and bosh, easy money. One very good practice is to buy stuff that particularly raiders use during off-peak hours, like in the morning or really late at night, and then resell them during peak hours, peak raiding hours. And you can do that actually with or without professions for very easy money. There's also cooldown crafts like Transmute True Gold that can also be taken advantage of in Cataclysm. Just buy the raw mats during off-peak hours, do the craft and stick it on the auction house. There's also a number of crafts that require Chaos Orbs. These drop from the last boss of heroic dungeons, much like a frozen orb in Wrath, and rather just you know, stick that orb on the auction house, you can usually make much more gold by crafting something with it. You're not going to be able to do that without a profession. Professions make you effortless gold, so invest the effort now to save hours of time later. Now, by far, the fastest way to level up in Cataclysm Classic is with a solid step-by-step -step leveling guide. Luckily, Rested XP has got your back. The world record holding speed levelers have been working on the fastest route for months now. You can find the download link for that in the description. One very reliable gold maker in Cataclysm is farming old raids and the best class to do this is a blood DK. You won't regret having a blood DK at max level in Cataclysm, it will always be there to farm you some quick and easy gold for when you need it and some transmog obviously. You can easily smash all of the old raids with Cataclysm heroic dungeon gear on. Fishing and Cataclysm can also be used for some very quick easy gold flips with the daily quests. They don't really require you to spend that much time, you don't even have to leave your capital city. Again, you can quickly do them before you raid every night. Combine this with your profession gold flips and you will never be wanting for gold to be honest. You want to have a plan to get to level 81 before everyone else to jump into deep home early. The Ferrazine faction is essential for every player because of the best in slot shoulder enchants. You may also need the epic gear and the head enchant. 
One good way of doing this is preparing the new dungeon quests at the start of the Raffle Lich King dungeons ready to turn in. Even though you may have done them in the past, or they have the exact same name, you should be able to pick them up again. These usually reward double the XP of normal quests. I've made a list of all the best ones to get. Just subscribe to the channel, check out my subscriber only video, and the list is in the description. One important thing you don't want to leave until too late is finding a good guild. When picking a guild, it's important to understand whether that guild is actually going to be a good fit for you. You really should ask the recruiter just how hardcore or casual the guild is going to be. I've seen so many people moan in guilds that the guild has been too hardcore or too casual. So take the responsibility and find that out before you join. You can prep now to get ahead on professions by pre-purchasing Wrath Mats to level your professions beyond 450 when the expansion launches. Get yourself enough mats to make an orange craft 20 times to get ahead. Now to get into the Heroic Dungeon Finder in Cataclysm, you will actually need an average item level of 329. It can be a pain in the backside to be honest because questing gear is only 318. It means you will need a full set of dungeon gear to unlock Heroic. But that means you'll have to farm Grimbatol, Lost City and Halls of Origination over and over again. And for some classes, this is especially irritating when they have to farm the same boss over and over again for one single upgrade that's going to get them that average item level. One way to get ahead is to buy the Justice Point and Honor Gear at level 85. The item level will be equivalent to Heroic Gear to help you bump your average item level just to enough. And you can farm that currency now, it will take twice as long which is a bit irritating but I will suggest that you do so to avoid the irritation in the future. Now one other easy method of farming gold is having a dedicated gathering tomb. He doesn't have to be max level, he just needs to have mining and herbalism. Sometimes you can make nutty gold farming old world materials as well as higher level mats. A druid of flight form is the best option for this, you know for the easy demounting and increased speed when looking through caves, but you can pick any class that you have. Anyway guys, do me a solid before you head off and subscribe to my second channel where I do videos not related to World of Warcraft. Anyway, ciao.